Chicago Bears Now is presented by True Classic. You can get 25% uh, percent off with promo code chat at trueclassic.com slash chat. That's trueclassic.com slash chat. Get 25% off. I'm rocking one of their polos today. Love the gear from True Classic. Go check them out. Coming up on today's show, I am Harrison Graham. Some takeaways from Bears OTAs. The first couple of practices are in the books. We heard uh, from Matt Eberflus and uh, some other uh, players today, plus reporters had their boots on the ground, so some information leaking out after today's practice at Hallis Hall. So let's go ahead and dive on in here. Takeaway number one, the connection building between Justin Fields and DJ Moore, which is something you really like to see, uh, right? And uh, the biggest takeaway we saw emerge today, I would say overall, is uh, Justin Fields was able to connect with DJ Moore on a deep ball, and that's music to our ears, right? It's only May. This thing is obviously going to take some time, but uh, kind of the first notable practice with all the new guys here, and you get this connection going between these two guys. Obviously, they've been working out together since the trade and getting some of those one-on-one -on -one reps, and that's important. But uh, you get into the 7-on-7, seven -seven, the 11-on-11 11 11 stuff, you want to see this connection, this chemistry grow. And to get that started today, I think, is very, very important. And this relationship in general is most important. Ryan Poles traded for DJ Moore to get Justin Field to number one receiver. We've talked about the comparisons to the Philadelphia Eagles and the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen getting Stephon Diggs helped them take off. Jalen Hurts getting A.J. Brown helped him take off. You're hoping to see something similar here in Chicago with Justin Fields because Justin Fields flashed a lot last year, both as a passer and obviously as a rusher. He's one of the best running quarterbacks in the NFL, but you're looking for that next step in the passing game. That's why you go get D.J. Moore. That was step number one. Getting more offensive linemen, that was step number two. Adding complementary pieces like Tyler Scott and Robert Tanyan, that was part of the plan as well. Uh, and – it kind of goes both ways as well. DJ Moore has not played with great quarterbacks in this league. He was with Carolina catching passes from, you know, Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, uh, a bunch of stiffs, to be quite honest. Uh, P.J. Walker, who you're hoping is a good backup here, but uh, shouldn't be a guy that's starting. So not only should DJ Moore help Justin Fields, it should go the other way as well. While Fields is still growing as a player, he's easily the most talented quarterback uh, that Moore has played with in the NFL. Now, DJ Moore did want to kind of, you know, not pump the brakes, but kind of just kind of put things into perspective when asked about how that chemistry is going. He says, look, it's a work in progress. Like, this is not going to happen overnight. He said, you know, you get through the three sessions of OTAs, kind of that mandatory minicamp. That's when the chemistry should really start to blossom. So we're still early on in this process, but I think it's notable that the first day uh, media members have access uh, to practice, uh, you see a big play downfield. I, I think that's really critical. That's important. Uh, so you like to see that. Uh, you want to see Justin Fields stack days, and hopefully uh, he's on the right track into doing just that. Now, how excited are you to have DJ Moore here in Chicago? I mean, how could you not be excited? Scale of 1 to 100, 1 being you're not excited at all. He's a bum. 100 being, I mean, you couldn't be more excited. Uh, I'm 99.9, .9, like you needed a number one and you got a number one in DJ Moore. So very excited to have him here. And uh, I think uh, his presence is going to be huge for Justin Fields and for this Bears offense. On the defensive side, more Bears OTAs takeaways. Tremaine Edmonds had a pick six. Everybody freaked out, but it was off P.J. Walker, not Justin Fields. Deep breath, everybody. When the first couple of tweets were rolling through from Bears reporters, Tremaine Edmonds pick six. I mean, I had a buddy uh, in the office be like, oh, God, did Justin Fields throw a pick six? It's going to be panic time in Chicago. No, it's P.J. Walker. And look, you want to see this from Tremaine Edmonds. We'll talk a little bit more about that. I mentioned it the other day that uh, you want to see him step up as a player and leader, paid him a big contract, uh, seeing that start to pay off early on here. True classic, something that you guys should take advantage of. Perfect Father's Day gift, by the way. Promo code chat. Uh, get 25% off with that promo code at trueclassic.com slash chat. Father's Day just around the corner. And one thing is for sure, dads have plenty of tools, ties, and baggy T-shirts. But this year, give your dad, your father figure, mentor, just any loved one in your life the gift of looking good and feeling good with True Classic. They're ultra soft tees are fitted in all of the right places, whether you got a dad bod like me or a six-pack 
all the right spots are going to show off. Uh, but True Classic isn't just about tees. They have everything you need to build a complete wardrobe, from button-downs to Henleys and to polos. I'm rocking one of the polos today. True Classic also has a line of comfortable, stylish jeans and chinos and a collection of active wear. That's perfect for anyone who wants to stay comfortable while staying active. And if you're not completely satisfied with your purchase, they'll offer you a 100% risk-free guarantee and easy returns. Check out their affordable prices and high-quality clothes. It's True Classic, a no-brainer to upgrade your wardrobe. Go to trueclassic.com slash chat. Use promo code chat. Get 25% off. I love their polo game. I got their athletic t-shirts working now as well. Very versatile clothes. Trueclassic.com slash chat. Promo code chat. 25% off. Go check out that link and promo code in the description and comments of this video. So Tremaine Edmonds, who's coming off a big year with Buffalo, didn't miss a couple of games with injury there. Uh, but this was the big contract you handed out. Ryan Poles has been very careful on the type of free agency contracts he's given out through two seasons as uh, general manager. But Edmonds is by far the biggest one he handed out. So you want to see that pay off. So you love to see Edmonds making plays. We heard from him after practice today. Very well spoken, a natural leader. You can just tell. Uh, and I'll add this as well. We haven't talked a ton about this since they brought him over from Buffalo. They brought him over from Buffalo, a team you're trying to be, right? Like, obviously, you want to get over the hump in the playoffs and eventually win a Super Bowl. The Bills haven't quite done that. But if you're in the playoffs the next four years, like Buffalo has been and in the mix, you certainly would take that if you are the Chicago Bears. Being from a winning culture, bringing that uh, type of culture to Chicago. Look, it's one thing for the coaching staff for Poles to do it, but you need players who have won as well. And even though Edmonds is still a young player, he's been around winning. He's been around big-time players, so I think that's very important as well. Subscribe to Bears now. We are closing in on 67,000 subscribers. We're just 289 away as we film this at this exact moment. If you want the latest OTAs news, if you want the latest Bears rumors that are out there, updates, everything else going on with this football team we've got you covered when the bears make a move we drop a video so hit that subscribe button daily coverage here on chicago bears now here's the best part it's 100 percent free okay let's get to the next kind of takeaway here three notable absences from OTAs, at least this first week of OTAs. Uh, and here are the three players. I would say three notable players, right? Eddie Jackson, uh, who is still recovering from an injury, so I do want to make that designation. Uh, Jalen Johnson, who Matty Refluse made clear, uh, has been cleared from injury. We'll get back to him in a second. And then uh, Nate Davis, uh, the offensive line signing that you gave three years and $30 million. He's a vet, so... Not a huge deal there. I would like to see him here as you're trying to build cohesion, but in reality, offensive line play when you're wearing T-shirts and shorts, uh, you can't really get a ton out of it. But at the same time, I would have liked to see him there. Now, here's what Matt Eberflus had to say about the OTA absences. He says, I'll just share that this is voluntar a voluntary time for all players, and some players have certain things going on. But again, it's their right to be here or not be here. We'll coach the guys that are here. So, do want to kind of double down what it flew said at first there. OTAs are voluntary. But I do think there is a but there, right? And um, this is not the Kansas City Chiefs, right? This is not the Philadelphia Eagles. Like, the Chicago Bears are trying to build something to be that. I'm not going to freak out about Nate Davis not being there. I'm not going to freak out about Jalen Johnson, Eddie Jackson not being at OTAs. But uh, I do think as many people being there is important uh, you're trying to build a culture and a winning attitude. Uh, so being in the, being around, being in the building, uh, I think those things do matter. Again, I don't think it's the end of the world, but uh, I think uh, I'll just say kudos to the guys who are there. You were a three and fourteen team last year. Like you need to take advantage of every team bonding opportunity uh, and just reps that you can get on the field that are available. Uh, Jalen Johnson is available for a con or eligible for a contract extension. So. That's kind of led to rumors here, like is he holding uh, out of OTA some of the offseason workouts uh, because uh, he wants to get extended? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, that is certainly uh, something uh, that uh, is worthy of discussing. Uh, Matt Eberflus even said that uh, Jalen, when he was asked uh, if uh, Jalen Johnson will be at mandatory minicamp in June, he said you would have to ask him. So... 
are you know are contract negotiations ongoing? Like you know what what's taking place here? Uh, Flus did say in an interview with Dave Wanstead that uh, they're working on some extensions, so maybe uh, that's in the works. And Johnson doesn't want to risk getting injured. Who knows? There's a lot of things there, but I think Flus, while he's not upset about some guys not being there, I think he is sending kind of a subtle message with that. Hey, we're going to coach the guys that are here and taking advantage of these reps. Remember, nothing is promised to any of these players. You were three and fourteen last year. Like, you want to uh, you want to start and be a big part of this team? Show up and uh, and uh, get those reps and earn that starting position. Now, will the Bears extend Jalen Johnson? I say all of that with Johnson's your best corner. He's going to start for this team. Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Will they extend Jalen Johnson? I'd like to see it happen. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button like we said. That way you never, ever miss a video here on Bears Now to double down and never really miss a video. Hit that notification bell after you subscribe and select all. Uh, that way you are notified on your mobile device that we have published a video.